The Impressionism was a movement that took place in France during the 19th century and that can be considered the first distinctly modern movement in painting. The name comes from the critic that the French critic Louis Leroy gave to the first major Impressionist exhibition of 1874, in which Claude Monet presented his painting Impression Sunrise in, of 1873. He accused a group of painting nothing but impressions. Impressionists incorporated new scientific research into the physics of color to achieve a more exact representation of color and tone. They sought to capture the optical effects of light to convey the passage of time, changes in weather, and other shifts in the atmosphere in their canvases. Capture a split second of life, an ephemeral moment in time on the canvas, it's part of the Impressionism. Artists apply paint in small touches of pure color rather than broader strokes. The result was to emphasize the artist's perception of the subject matter as much as the subject itself. Artists capture the image of an object as someone would see it if they just caught a glimpse of it. Pictures have a lot of color, they are bright and vibrant, and they are used outdoor scenes. Painters of the real, getting away from the idealized forms and perfect symmetry. Images without much detail are used. Some works capture scenes of public leisure, especially scenes of cafes and cabarets. Convey the new sense of alienation experienced by the inhabitants of the first modern metropolis. The most important artists were Edward Manet, which painted everyday objects, Camille Pizarro and Alfred Sisley, uh, the, who were painters that painted the French countryside and river scenes. Edgar Degas painted ballet dancers and horse races. Bert Morisot painted women doing everyday things. Pierre-Auguste Renoir, show the effect of sunlight on flowers and figures. And Claude Monet was interested in subtle changes in the atmosphere. Oscar, Claude Monet was born on November 14, in 1840, in Paris, France. He enrolled in the Academy Suisse, acknowledged the father of Impressionism after an, after an art exhibition in 1874, when a, crit, when a critic insulting Dove Monet's painting style, Impression. Saint was more concerned with form and light than realism, and the term stuck. During his life, he struggled with poverty and other several problems. At the age of five years, he moved with his family to Le Havre, which is a Normandy region in where he studied and developed a love for Darwin. For Darwin. He was also a gardener. In the community, he became well known for his caricatures and for Darwin many towns residents. For some time, Monet decided to move to Paris to pursue his art. He also served in the military, but for her reasons, he stepped out and continued his art career by developing his own technique. But it was not until April 1874 when the society's exhibition proved to be revolutionary for Monet by presenting his artwork, Impression Sunrise, considered for critics as just a sketch rather than finished paintings, but the terms seemed fitting. He was renowned for his mastery of natural light and paid at many different times of day in an attempt to capture changing conditions, serialism. He tended to paint simple impressions or, or stubborn hints of his subject, using very soft brush strokes and unmixed colors to create a natural vibrating effect, as if nature itself were alive on the canvas. He did not wait for paint to dry before applying successive layers, with wet and wet technique, produced softer edge and blurred boundaries that mirrorly suggest a three-dimensional plane, whether than deceptive in irrealistically. Technique of painting outdoors, plain art painting, was practiced really among the impressionists and it was inherited from the landscape painters of the Barbizon school. This approach led to innovations in the representation of sunlight and the passage of time, which were two central motives of impressionist painting. After several years, Monet struggled with depression but continued with his paintings, until he died on December 5 
of 1926 in Giverne, France. Monet opened the door for forty abstract art and changed the world of painting by shaking off the conventions of the past. Monet applied his own rules such as perspectives without depth or close-ups that were influenced by his study of Japanese plates, then popular in French art circles. In his works, Monet resorted to a dramatic tonal contrast that eliminated intermediate tones influenced by photography. The common characteristic of all Monet's impressionist works is the attempt to capture nature as it is at every moment and instill in each painting a special sensation of nature. In order for landscapes to be visibly impressionistic, they should be painting, painted from the beginning to the end outdoors and should be interrupted when the effects of light change. To correctly present the effects of light implied for Monet was to paint pure colors without tonalities. In the early Impressionist works, he still uses black in shaded areas. However, we would soon discard pure black for not being a composite color. Monet traveled to London in 1870. When he met the city, London became his most frequent urban theme. His interest lays in the subtlety of the effects of light characteristic of London, whose pollution transformed sunny days into cloudy ones. The Saint Lazarus station in Paris is the only exception to his rejection of industrialization. In this painting, Monet captured the complexity and transience of the effects of reflected lights on the gla glass roof, billowing smoke and steam. The 80s are considered a period of crisis for Impressionism. Monet's response to the crisis was his search for more complex and natural effects in Norwegian snowy landscapes or bright, vivid colors of the French Mediterranean coast. Monet rarely introduced Japanese motifs in his paintings. Towards 1880, it is strongly influenced by Japanese landscape engravers such as Hokusai and Hiroshige. The application of the paint is different from the smooth and creamy surface of the early 1880s to continuous strokes of defined colors creating a sense of depth. The first years of 1890 brought significant innovations to the work of Monet, with series among which are Almiares in 1891 and the Cathedral, Cathedral of Rowan 1892. Each, each one tries to represent a different theme in the different lighting condition characteristics of each moment of the day or in different atmospheric conditions. Monet's work during his old age represents the overcoming of hope and the transcendence of existence. When comparing the artworks and the styles of Monet with other impressionist artists, we can see clearly two differences. Monet loved to paint landscapes at different hours of the day or when painting a representation of a person with landscapes, he concentrated in landscapes rather than the person. If we see an artwork of Manet and we compare it with Monet artworks, we can see clearly this difference. Another important point to consider in this comparison is the freedom that Monet expressed in his paintings, which is one of the most characteristic aspects of this incredible impressionist artist. Impressions Sunrise, 1872. This painting is famous for giving a name to the Impressionist movement. The subject of the painting is the harbor of Le Havre in France. It is noted for very loose brush strokes that suggest rather than define it. Monet uses color as the main factor to capture the very essence of the scene. An interesting thing about this painting is that if you make a black and white copy of it, then the sun disappears almost entirely. Ruth Cathedral Series, 1894. This famous series captures the facade of Rome Cathedral in France at different times of the day and a year, showcasing its changes with varying light conditions. While studying these paintings, it is noted that Monet broke painting tradition and cropped the subject so that only a portion of the facade is seen on the canvas. Painting the series was a difficult task for Monet. He was, however, helped by his ability to capture the essence of the zine quickly and finish it later from memory. 
Woman with a Parasol, 1875. This is one of his earlier works. It was painted at Ville d'Avray in 1875. This painting, despite Monet's first wife, Camille Dancieux, with their elder son, Jean. Camille is holding a parcel and it seems that she's catching a glimpse of someone looking at her. In this painting, Monet paints into the light, letting the model's features fade into the shadow. The painting is early evidence of Monet focusing more on light and color as opposed to line and shape. San Giorgio Maggiore at dusk, 1908. In an autumn of 1908, Claude Monet started this painting during a trip to Venice with his wife. The painting focuses on the church of San Giorgio, San Giorgio Maggiore with its bell tower rising to the top of the painting. To the right are the faintly visible domes of Santa Maria de la Salud and the mouth of the Grand Canal. Monet emphasized capturing the moment with sunlight effects and the overall visual effect, instead of details. Monet's de depiction of San Giorgio Maggiore is all about the effects of light. He uses small, thin brush strokes with an emphasis on how light changes the qualities of the subject and movement in water, using unusual visual angles. Lanchean on the grass it was in Chailly, 1865, when Manette began to paint Lanchion on the Grass. He took inspiration from Manette's Lanchion on the Grass. It was intended to be a tribute and a challenge to Manette, whose painting was the same. This painting and had a little in common, but Man Monette had focused on some details as the environmental light on people and objects. The leaves from the left side at the top promote a bright color that is emerging from the sun. The logs from the right side provide darker colors which give a balance with some spots of light. Finally, the biggest section of white in the center, primarily source of light, calls the viewer attention to concentrate on the picnic and people. Monet has a lot of other great paintings, but we are going to say another five. The, the next one is the Terrace at St. Andrews in the year 1867, type iron canvas, 98.1 cm by 129.9 cm. The location, the Metropolitan Museum of Art of New, of New York. The next one, the corner of the Garner at Montegro in the year 1876, type iron canvas, dimensions, 172 by 193 centimeters. Location, the State Hermitage St. Petersburg. The next one, Rue St. Denis in Paris on National Holiday. In 1878, type oil on canvas, dimension 76 by 52 centimeters. The location, Musée des Baux Art Sorain. The other one, Camille, woman with green dress. In the year 1866, type oil on canvas, dimen dimensions 231 centimeters by 151 centimeters. Location, Conscale Bremen. The next one and last one that we are going to say is Porta and St. Roman Tower. In the year 1893, type oil on canvas, dimension 170. 7 cm by 73 cm. Location, Musée d'Orsay, Paris. Impressionism, term referring to the work of the artist held in Paris between 1874 to 1886. The principal members were Monet, Renoir, Sisley, and Calibot. Impressionism is characterized by bright colors, visible brush strokes, rapid execution, plain air work, modern life subjects, and a desire to capture fleeting effects of light. Snow scenes had been a favorite theme of the Impressionists because it allowed the treatment of light and color without the importance of form. Problems dog Monet and Camille, his wife, constantly. Running a family household was expensive and Monet liked to live well.
Although Monet is best known for painting outdoors, he finished most of his pictures in his studio. I was aware of the changes posed by the Neo-Impressionists during the second half of the 1889s. Monet is the best known artist in the world even though his work is recognized by people who have never seen his actual paintings.